Hello, my name is Brittany. I run our community and education programs here at Evernote. And today uh, on Experts Unscripted, we have our Evernote expert, Vlad Campos with us. Hello and good afternoon where you are, Vlad. Hello, Brittany. I am in Porto, Portugal, Europe, Earth. <laughs> ah, I love it there. Oh, my, that's a goal. I want to go to Portugal. So maybe I need to plan a trip and never. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> um, well, I'm excited to have you today to show everyone something you want to show them. Uh, the idea here is that uh, we didn't plan this. We're on a call okay. and we're we're going rogue here just to show some people a little bit about how you use Evernote as an expert. Um, so I will let you take it away. You can share okay. your screen and uh, and tell us all about something cool. So, oh, let's call it Ever Evernote navigation. <laughs> I don't start with the common J command or the control Q. Common J is for Mac users and control Q for for Windows users, and I hope someday this will come to the web client. I really hope it will come someday. And so what Common, Common J does is open this pretty window here, and it has here recent content. Is This is where we've been like minutes ago, hours ago, and we have this switch too. It's like jumping to another place in Evernote. So when I'm working here and I need to go to go to a note or to a notebook and take some notes, I, I would do common J. And let's say it's already here. But let's say I want to go to my projects. I would start projects and click here. And then I am in that notebook. I can click here, take a new note. And let's take a note here, blah, blah, blah. And then I can go back to whatever I was doing. Let's say I was doing trips. I can go back to trips and keep doing what I was doing before. So it's a very, very easy way to jump around. You can, if I, I use this when I have an idea and I have to take a note, for example, if we are talking here, if I had an idea for a video, I would go to the YouTube notebook, take a note and come back to what I was doing before. This is a very powerful shortcut. Everyone you know, should hearing should you use explain it. it is um, is really interesting because I think I am definitely one of those people that do not navigate Evernote well. When I need to okay. change notes, I like to click to home, and then I like to go and search. <laughs> but I always like to go back to home. I don't know if it's just because I okay. like the way it's laid out, but I, the 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 way that you just move from one note or notebook to another notebook using that shortcut, um, I mean, that would save me a lot of time probably because uh, I am just clicking all around always. So that is, um, that's really cool. Yes. Uh, and like you said, I'm, let, let's say, let's use walking around every note. We are walking around every note. Mm -hmm. And so let, let's check another tip in that line. So if I come here on the settings and sidebar and check this show recent notes, now, all we have here are the latest notes we were using. So see here on top of all, the one I just wrote down here, and the one before that was this one, and the one before that one, this one, and so and so on. So it's also another way to go, go back. So if I'm, if, let's create a new note here. Let's go new note. Let's make it here a new note. Okay, new note. Okay, now, See, it's here, and this one is the one we were working uh -huh. right now. Okay. So I can just click here and go back to that. I don't know. Oh, I have to go back to new note to do something. I just come here. So recent notes is really, really powerful, and I don't, I don't like it here. But there is another place where they are. We are here, <laughs> home, and if we have this widget here, the 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 notes widget on. See here, new note. There they are. The, yeah. the one before and the and so on. So this is where I, I usually come. I don't like it here because in my real account, I have more shortcuts here. So like like twice the number of shortcuts here. And this gets, I'll, the, there's too much information here. So I turn this off on my real account. I don't use it here. And like you, what I would do in this case, uh, let's go to home and find a note here and go to that note. Ah. So that, 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 so that's why, that's how I use home. I, and I have this one in my real account on the bottom of the, the screen. So all I have to do is scroll down and I have the wrist note, and I have it like this in, in a giant size, the big size here. So I, I can go back and forth. And this- I wanna rename some, the size of that from large to giant. <laughs> giant. <laughs> and if you, if what happens here is it's like a history of your day. So I start my day working, let's say on this and then this and then this and then this, and now I'm working on this. So, oh, well, well, let me go back to what I was working on in the morning. So it's here, it's gonna be here somewhere. Okay. So again, it's easy to jump 
from one place to another. So we have Control J, Command J on Mac, Control Q on Windows, and we, we have the recent notes. They are in two different places. I prefer them here, but they can also be here. And I, I, one thing I, I like them here is because I can see the, the images. It's easier to understand what, what, what we are looking for. Mm. So th this is this is really important. Navigate Evernote. It's it, it makes things easy, fast, quick, so you don't lose time and trying to find information. Okay, there's another one I like. So let's say, let, 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 me, let me call this here number one, just to show you number one, number one, and let's call, oh, here we go, Calm. and I'm gonna look for that one, and let's get that one, oops. Oh, here, number one, let's get number two here, I'm gonna call this number two. Now, oops, sorry for that, I was, tempted to do what I want to show, but well, let's do it step by step. So I don't know what's happening here. Note, new note, let's call this number two. Number two. Okay, see this arrows here? Mm -hmm. This is just like the browser back and forth that we can go back and navigate back and forth. So I was working in number one right now. So instead of going to home and trying to find it, all I need to do is just click here. And oops, I was at home. Well, that's, yeah, that's you it. were at home. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. So number one, let's do it in a different way. Let's go number okay. two. Uh, let's come to notes here. Let's let's do it here. So no number two. Then I'm coming to number one. Say it was here, down here, or somewhere else. Okay. All I have to do is go back to number two or come back to number one. I can do this all the time. And it's just it's just like navigating web website web pages. This is also very powerful. And what, what we have to, once we learn and train all of these shortcuts, we'll, we'll, it's like, like imprinted in our mind. Oh, it's easier if I go here, yeah. or maybe it's easier if I do a common J, or maybe it's easier if I do a, a home, go to home. So, or the recent notes. If you train them, yeah. if you practice them, your, your brain will, it's, it will go, oh, going back is easier. So let's go back and you, and you do it like that. Yeah, see, so, I have a problem working with all of these amazing Evernote experts because I get all of these really cool ideas and it's impossible to implement all of them in one system. So I can't <laughs> stick to one way. But I got to say, I think I forgot that you could go back uh, in navigation. That's such a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> I think I make it harder on myself. Now, um, one thing I've noticed, uh, Vlad, while you're kind of navigating and showing us through, um, sometimes there's this side panel here that's showing a list of your notes, and sometimes there's not. So um, whenever you access like a note directly from like your you shortcut mean, you mean or home. You mean here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you go to home and you open up a note, that sidebar isn't there. Yeah. Uh, so that depending on where you access your note from might also depend on how like maybe if I open number one here yeah you don't that see that yeah, button I might agree. be better than um or, or the command j versus I if I if I accessed it from that note in the menu in the sidebar over there then I'll have a full list of notes but not yes. always right because there's a few different ways to view that what I do what I tend to do I to be honest I don't know why when we open it from home, it hides the lists field. I don't understand that. But my I, I try to to use this different features or different ways to do things in my mm -hmm. favor. So now that I know that if I open a note from here, it will not show the notes list. I try to, to take advantage of this. So if I want to more work, space. yes, if I want more space, I, like you were, like you were saying, I would go to home. Oh, let, let me start from here, because I, I all the time I open a note from here, it will open in full full size, and I can even of course shrink this, and I, I have an even better uh, space to work on. So I take advantage of that, and I agree with you. If we depending on where we are and depending on where what we are doing, mm -hmm. one or another way of doing it will be the best way to do it. And I guess uh, I guess that's it. I, I, I oh forgot the shortcuts. I, I'm looking at here. So this is another important one. I, I compare shortcuts to our desk. I always say this on my videos. This is our desk. We have I don't know our phone, our chargers, the computer. We have everything that we use most of the time on the desk. Yeah, Evernote, Evernote goodies. <laughs> yeah. So I say this as my desk. So oh. everything I use all the time in Evernote is here. And just like our desks, they don't stay the same forever. 
today you are using, I don't know, an Android phone and you have a charger for an Android phone and tomorrow you move to an iPhone, you don't have the charger, you don't need the charger for the, the Android phone anymore. So this has to be, uh, represent the present way that you are working in Evernote. So say we, this is unscripted, but say I was preparing myself for this, for this talk. So let's go back to home here. Uh, and then let's say I let's say this note here, the number two was my this this is what I was preparing myself to. So I can just drag oh I cannot drag it from here. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh interesting. I thought I thought I could drag it from that, but it's okay. We can come here and we can we can add it to shortcuts. So let's say I I this is where the the, the interview I was preparing myself. So it's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna stay here till we end it. When we finished, I'm removing it from here. So it's a way to have what you need, what you're working on, close to you, like the like the like the recent notes I just showed. It's something similar to this, but this is created by use. Each time we use it, created uh, 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 okay. it puts a title here. This is created by us, so we create whatever we we want here. This in my opinion, is our desk. So for people that don't know, let's say I want a notebook here, I can drag the notebook and I can put it anywhere. One person asked me how I created this, this structure in tags on, on, on one of my videos. You, you cannot create it here, but if you have a structure here, you just drag it to, to it, it. Let's see if I have another one. I guess I have only that one. Okay, there's another one here. So I can drag this so I have the 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 the, the parent one and the other and, and the, the other the oh wow tag. I cannot I cannot nest it here I cannot drag here but I, I can drag a nested a nested tag or or even a, or even a, a, stack. a stack I can drag a stack here and now I have all the nodes in that stack oh. so this is very powerful but we have to be careful not to put the entire Evernote here. <laughs> Sort of defeats so, the purpose of, exactly. yeah, like you can't put everything you have for your office on your desk. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Think, think of, that's a great that analogy. analogy. That's so yeah. good. Yeah, it's yes. like the important stuff you need to work. And I can get up and go to my bookshelf if I need to get something else. Yes. But I never know so, it's a lot easier with Command J. Yes, let's recap. So I have Command J. And, I can, and, and one thing that I didn't talk about, let me try here, projects. So Command J will show notebooks tags, notes, and even stacks. If we start here online, online, it will show even stacks. So it will show all of it. And I have this, I call it escape hatch. If it's not here, I just click here and it will search that word. So oh. that's Con J, Control Q. So I use okay. that all the time. <laughs> nice. Then we have recent notes. I Like I said, you can put it here. I prefer to use it here from home. This is recent notes. Uh, we can surf instead of surfing the web. We can surf Evernote from here, the 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 arrows from to the right and the left, and we have the shortcuts that works as our task. So if we practice this, in the end, will our brain will understand? Oh, it's easier to go like this, and it's easier to do that. And, and I, I think it's really important to practice this to to learn how to navigate Evernote. Yeah, this was amazing. Um, what an awesome way to see how to effectively navigate through Evernote in a few different ways. Um, I, I have to say, I learned something that I had totally <laughs> forgotten. I, those back and forth buttons, man, that I'm going to be using that today. <laughs> okay. So this is navigation, but you know that I have an entire channel dedicated to Evernote. So I, we could, we could talk for like hours and hours and hours here. <laughs> Your YouTube channel has a lot of amazing, um, you know, really great tips, tricks. Uh, you go through all of the features. Uh, you are honest, <laughs> which is also great. Uh, and, and you know, I, I think I always learn something from, from all of the different things that you're testing out and trying with integrations and new tools in Evernote as well. So uh, definitely check out uh, Vlad Campos on YouTube. We'll link that in the video below. Um, thank you so much for uh, the impromptu tour of navigating through Evernote like an expert. So thank you so much, Vlad. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. We'll talk soon. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks from Evernote experts.